What are you saying, ladies and gents? It is your boy, Bucket Sam. Yes, I know it has been a while, but I promise you, I am back. We are doing today some FA Cup Round 4 predictions. So many games to go through, like literally so many games through. So we're going to absolutely whiz through them. Let me know down in the comment section down below, though, your predictions for all of these games. Some absolute crackers. So we're going to start off with Manchester City versus Arsenal. Friday night kickoff. This has the recipe and everything that we want from an FA Cup fourth round fixture. Man City, FA Cup. Don't go too well hand in hand. Last two seasons, we're going out in the semi-final. One to Arsenal, one to Liverpool. I think it's going to be a really interesting game. And I think because it's such a good story with this game, I'm really excited for this one. Obviously, with the Premier League running to the title race, everything like that. It's just so many little layers to this game. I think, though, Man City are going to win this. I think they're going to go all out and really try and make a statement for the Premier League. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 Man City home win. And in the next game, we've got Walsall versus Leicester. Leicester, a pretty odd season, if I'm honest. So... I I think they really need momentum. They need some confidence. They're looking like a really weird side at the moment. Brendan Rodgers just can't get a tune out of them. They're so the only consistency with them this season is the fact that they're inconsistent. Um, in, yeah, did that make that, that in my head? That sounded so much better. Then I said it out loud. That is absolutely horrendous. But what I, you got what I was trying to say. I think though Leicester are going to win this as again. As I said, they need confidence. So I think they're going to get a two 0 away win. Next game, Accrington Stanley versus Leeds United. Now, I'm excited for this one because Leeds away, you know what it's like. And again, Accrington Stanley, I watched them play Crawley Town earlier on in the season. I think they beat, beat them 4 1. It was a really good game. Really enjoyed it. And you know what? I think there's going to be an upset here. I'm going to go for 2 1 to Accrington Stanley. Yes, you heard me. There's something about Leeds that I just don't think is right at the moment. Uh, next, we've got Sheffield Wednesday versus Fleetwood. Now, I think it's going to be Sheffield Wednesday win here. Wednesday have just absolutely demolished that this year every team they are ridiculous like the, the amount of points they've got in this calendar year is insane they're doing absolutely wonderful things under Darren Moore playing some lovely football I'm gonna go for a 2-0 Sheffield Wednesday win and obviously as I said in the last round as well great great result against Newcastle next got Blackburn versus Birmingham City I think it's gonna be an interesting one Birmingham City form has been great in recent weeks and a Blackburn who've just signed Sorba Thomas and I hope that hopefully he can play in this. I don't know if he's cup tied, but I'm going to go for a Blackburn 2 1 home win. In the next game, we've got Southampton versus Blackpool. Recently appointed Blackpool Mick McCarthy, so it's going to add something new to the game. But I do think Southampton, we speak about like Leicester, that they kind of size that are in around the bottom of the table, so they need to get momentum and a bit of confidence. So I think they're going to put out a strong side here. I'm going to go for a 2 1 Southampton home win. Next, we've got Ipswich versus Burnley. As much as Ipswich are doing really good things this season, I'm really sorry. Burnley are just on another level. Burnley under Vincent Company are a machine. So I'm going to go for a 3-0 Burnley away win. Yes, 3-0 is a big score as well. Next, my team, Bristol City versus West Bromwich Albion. My team is in West Brom. I don't know why I said my team, Bristol City. You know what I was trying to say. I'm going to go for a 2-1 West Brom win. Going to bounce back from that Burnley game. But yeah, we've got a lot of injuries, but for some reason I'm I'm confident. That's not I'm going I'm going my heart, not my head here. Uh, next, we've got Luton versus Grimsby. Uh, Grimsby, National League side, I'm excited to see this. I'm really excited to see this game because there's just something about these kind of ties and these fixtures where, you, do you know what, you think they're so, this, this could be a big upset here and I really hope there is. And I've just said they're a National League. They were National League last season coming up from the National League is what I meant to say. Apologies about that. Sorry, Grimsby fans. But I do think there's going to be an upset here. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Grimsby away win. Yes, you heard me. Grimsby are going to do it. Uh, Fulham versus Sunderland next. Fulham have been absolutely unreal this season, but I can't see them putting out a strong side here. Going to rest players for the Premier League because they're pushing on for that top half of the table. And Sunderland have been doing great things. Outsiders to get promotion this season. Surprisingly, they're doing really well. Diallo has been absolutely sensational. I'm going to go for a 2-0 Sunderland away win. Next game, Preston versus Tottenham. Tottenham need momentum. Again, we're talking about these Premier League sides that are underperforming. So they're going to have to put out a strong side here. I'm going to go for a 1-0 Tottenham away win. Yes, only winning by one. Uh, next, got Man United versus Reading. Ten Hag's men have been absolutely unreal since the sale of Ronaldo and I'm sorry to bring up Ronaldo but there, there has been a correlation since then and I think they're going to want to go for as many trophies as possible this season really strong season and I think they'll really go for this a strong side as well so I'm going to go for a 2-0 Reading sorry 2-0 Man United win against Reading the next game Brighton versus Liverpool and this is a really interesting game obviously Brighton beating Liverpool earlier on in the season and De Zerbi's men are absolutely unstoppable it's just full throttle attack and Mitoma versus Trent is always a good battle on that right hand side so I'm really excited to see this one but I do think Liverpool are going to win it this time because I think they're going to want to get revenge so I'm going to go for a 2-1 Liverpool away win next we've got Stoke versus Stevenage and yeah these are what proper cup clash but I do think Stoke are going to get a win here not not been a brilliant season for them so they're going to want a cup run I'm going to go for a 1-0 Stoke City home win next we've got Wrexham versus Sheffield United the cup dream is still on for Wrexham and do you know what 
as much as I think Sheffield United will do it because they've been absolutely unreal this season, I want Wrexham to win. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 Wrexham win. Yes, come on. We love a non-league story like this. Derby versus West Ham next. Uh, the final game of the fourth, fourth round of the Cup. Do you know what? Derby. I'm sorry, I think West Ham are going to do it here. They're not being great in the city, in the Premier League, and this is exactly what I keep going back to the point of. They're going to want to get some momentum. They need confidence, so I think they're going to put out a strong team, and David Moyes' men are going to get a win here. I'm going to go for a 2-1 West Ham away win. But thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, please do smash the like button, and do subscribe if you're new to the channel. Lots of predictions, lots of videos coming all your way. And if you haven't already, let me know your predictions down below. But thank you for watching. Bukhaz, I'm over and out. Thank you. Goodbye.